What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and today it is Super Showdown 2020 Edition. Oh, help me out of the trash can. I'm a piece of trash. Help me, help me. Shut the hell up, Brad. <laughs> So here today, guys, we do have an epic WWE action figure set up for you guys that I'm very excited to showcase here today. Super Showdown is coming up on the 27th of February. Is that in a couple days? Is that Thursday? I mean, my God, I guess I'm going to do my predictions tomorrow so you guys can stay tuned for that video. Should be pretty entertaining with the predictions of this Super Showdown Saudi show. Super Showdown Saudi show. Try saying that five times fast. But anyways, guys, here today we do have the backstage area pretty full. There's only seven matches on the card, so that's pretty interesting to me but anyways guys let's go ahead and dive into this setup shut the hell up get into it showcase my setup here and we also have a sponsor for today's video and we're going to showcase that in this video as well so getting into the setup guys let's start off over here on the left okay so you guys will see here we have sort of like a battle scene going on right we got a lot of ish going on if you guys can tell so uh, basically why is the wwe title right there that's 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 incorrect so right here guys you will see we have rusev bobby trashley R-Truth, Cian Almas, Eric Rowan, and AJ Styles, not to count Zelina Vega back there. But you guys know that all six of these competitors, is it six, one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, we have six guys going to war in Saudi Arabia over the Tawait Trophy. Is that how you say it? It's like a six-man gauntlet to weight trophy match where I guess it's going to be like a regular gauntlet match and all these six individuals I think it started off as like a United States championship match or something and then they they abandoned it I could be wrong about that maybe I'm thinking of mania like a leaked mania card or something but here today guys they're all going to war obviously the continued rivalry of Rusev and Bobby Trashley taking uh, taking place here in the setup with Rusev over the top of Trashley you know you got to take care of the trash as Roman Reigns is trying to do over here Rusev beat the hell out of Trashley, you know, I really want Rusev to come out on top in this thing, and hopefully we get that in Saudi, you know, I don't think the feud will come to an end, I'm sure this thing's gonna ride out to Mania, cause, I mean, it's, it's just gonna, man, I, I don't really know what to say, it's definitely gonna last until Mania, so he's beating the hell out of him, I wanted him to have the upper hand here, and then over here, you know what, Brad, I feel terrible, cause R-Truth doesn't deserve this, R-Truth, one of the most underrated, underutilized talents in all of WWE, you know, he's getting involved in this match, and how how cool would it be? I, I I could see him winning this matchup, actually, getting the Tawait Trophy. It'll be him, Almas, or AJ Styles, I believe. But right here, um, I just really wanted to do a Tornado DDT or a DDT of some sort. So I do have Andrade seeing Almas here just destroying the, the skull of R-Truth into that United States Championship, which is underneath there. Sort of No Way Out 2004 Eddie Guerrero Brock Lesnar-esque here onto the championship. And so I wanted to have that. That. You got Trashley getting assaulted, and then here in the back, you do have Vega helping out, doing her best to control Eric Rowan, grabbing onto him, taking control of the beard. You know, she's got a grip of the beard, just getting in there and assaulting Eric Rowan. He's trying his best to fight off, so I'm pretty impressed with how well that Zelina Vega figure is actually, you know, uh, connecting to that Eric Rowan. Like, the articulation is kind of stiff, but if you get the joints moving around a little bit, you can get a little bit going with it. So that is pretty nice right there. And then while all this is going on, while while all this little fight and this war is happening, you have AJ Styles with the Tawait Trophy exiting off of the campus right there. So he's getting away. He's running the hell away with his Tawait Trophy. This is not what the trophy looks like, obviously. That's just a regular random trophy accessory I had lying around in the backstage area. And I found him. I was like, you know what, Brad? This is going to be my trophy today. So I went ahead, had AJ Styles toting that hoe, and he's getting away. He's running the hell away, and, and it's all good. <laughs> just beyond that, guys, we do have another portion of the setup. We have Roman Reigns here, and Roman Reigns is taking out the trash. Obviously, you guys know we got Trash Corbin. Uh, if you guys are a follower of the channel, you know that I call King Corbin or Baron Corbin. I call him Trash Corbin because he's absolute trash. I've been calling him that for five years now, four or five years. Ever since I saw the man, never took him seriously, and I'm ready for this feud to end. We clearly saw it come to an end at Royal Rumble. I guess they want a one-off in Saudi just to finish this thing off. 
Hopefully that is the case because I cannot have them have one more match. They've already had five or six. I mean, Jesus Christ, what else do you want? But I thought it was really, really funny to have him sort of like, you know, just begging not to get shut in. You know, he's trying to reach out and get out of there. And uh, so he is, if you guys don't know, this figure is actually half trash can. Like, uh, I don't know if I can, let me see if I can get up in here. Can you, can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see that. It probably looks like garbage. But anyways, I thought it'd be funny because he's like, you know, trying to get out. Roman Reigns is shutting him in the trash, and then it clearly states trash right there on the side, so I just thought that was epic. That is that is beautiful, man. Just the embodiment right there of Corbin. I just love that so much. So there's Roman Reigns putting trash Corbin rightfully where he belongs, right in the trash can. And that is going to transition us today, guys, to the Elite Squad. Huge shout-out to Mattel for sending us these Masters of the WWE Universe figures, guys. We have John Cena, Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns, and Macho Man Randy Savage. They sent these figures our way, so I did want to give a huge shout-out to them. I'll probably take them out of the packaging and showcase them in a My Damn Halls episode. But I did want to plug this in and showcase them. Which one is your favorite? I really love the John Cena one. That one's badass. Rey looks sick and everything. Let me know down in the comments section below if I should totally open these guys or leave them mock. I opened my other ones. Really love the John Cena. I think he looks like a freaking assassin, especially with his chain gang symbol. That's what we love to see. And then a huge shout out to one of our fans here who made these creative art designs. You have Pennywise, It, Finn Balor. You have a drawing of Kenny Omega with the Elite Championship. Kevin Owens with the Extreme Championship, and then a little meme of Little E. And then a huge shout-out to my man right here for sending this our way, Christopher. Shout-out to both of his Instagram pages, guys. Definitely go give him a follow. It's all up on the screen there. But thank you guys so very much. These are freaking epic. I enjoyed these so very much. And then huge shout-out to Mattel for these epic figures that I cannot wait to unbox for you guys and showcase how sick they are. And we're back in the setup, guys, and we're coming over to the corner. And in this corner, we do have Morrison and Miz with their SmackDown Tag Team Championships because they took out the New Day, man. The New Day, Kofi Kingston got put through the table. Big E got slammed with a chair and then a stool broken across the back. And honestly, you know, I don't see this type of violence from, you know, Miz and Morrison, but I wanted Morrison to make a big old impact here in the setup because, you know, ever since he returned, I feel like they haven't treated him like a big deal. He just kind of feels like another guy on the roster. So it's pretty unfortunate, but you know what? I think it'd be a way to right those wrongs would be for him to win the SmackDown Tag Team championships from the New Day right here in Saudi Arabia with The Miz and then maybe we can get a little short break up and then it'll probably be a Wrestlemania match or they can hold the titles till Mania and you know have a banger match with somebody else that would be cool too um, I think that you know we've seen Miz in some pretty epic matches over the years so I think if you combine him with Morrison and you give him a good tag team man they could probably have a freaking barn burner of a match and that is something I'd like to see so hopefully we get some good wrestling out of this one but I would personally love to see Miz and Morrison capture those Smackdown tag team championships. If we come to the middle, guys, we do have Ricochet. Now, uh, honestly, with you, you know, I, I don't see Ricochet winning one bit. I don't think anyone does. Super underdog. We've seen this story before with Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins. He always goes up with the small guys, and he usually has great matches. So hopefully, that is the case here. I don't want a squash match. I really want Ricochet to put on a great showing, and Brock Lesnar can really turn him into a star. I know that, you know, since he's come up to the main roster, a lot of people have really enjoyed enjoyed his in-ring work that have never seen him before, especially that mainstream audience that doesn't really watch WWE all the time. When they've seen Ricochet perform, he has looked really, really good. Um, he has had some squash matches here and there. You know, he's been he's looked terrible, but when they showcase what he can do, he has, you know, done really well, and uh, hopefully that continues in this match. And, you know, he doesn't have to win to look like a star. Just maybe they'll give him the nod here and give him a really good showing, but I honestly don't think that he's going to win or even come close. They may actually bear this man, but hopefully Brock wants to work and Ricochet comes to work with him and we get Brock and Ricochet in a great epic banger for a, you know, a good old classic right there that we love to go back and watch. But I got Brock loaded him up with the F5 right there looking like a beast. Like a beast, Brad. I think he is a beast. That's what they call him. We got the Fiend right here in the corner, guys, putting on that Mandible Claw onto Goldberg in the back right there. I wanted to use that Elite 74 Goldberg. I know the beard isn't accurate. It's supposed to be white, but I still like it because the Fiend's got that Mandible Claw 
claw locked in on Goldberg. And he's, you know, he's pleading for life. He's screaming for life. He got the two Universal Championships over here on the right looking good. And the uh, Blue Universal Championship is going to be on the line between Goldberg and The Fiend. And honestly, uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I can see it going either way, but I think they are going to give the nod to The Fiend, even though they kind of ruined him a hell in a cell with all that bull crap they pulled with Rollins. But you know, uh, I, I don't know, man. I guess we're going to see. We do know whoever comes out on top of this thing is going to take on the big dog at WrestleMania. And uh, it, it, Roman Reigns is probably going to end up with the Blue Universal Championship when it is all said and done on WrestleMania weekend. So we can pro pretty much just confirm that. But uh, we got the Fiend locking in the Mandible Claw. In the back, guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, we got pretty much a big old fight going on between Naomi and Bayley. SmackDown Championship in the background right there. Both of them going to war in Saudi for that thing. And uh, I think we're going to get us a pretty intense fight. So that's pretty replicated here. Bayley tackling Naomi to the ground beating the hell out of her, and uh, they're, they're kind of just trading blows back there. They knocked over the stretcher, and they're just kind of going nuts in the backstage area. And to finalize our WWE action figure setup, guys, you will see we have Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy chilling with their Raw Tag Titles. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why aren't they fighting the Street Profits? Well, Brad, you know, they have AOP on their side, and I think that this will happen in Saudi as well. I think that, you know, we may get like a 10, 15 minute match, but ultimately, at the end of the day, AOP is going to cost the Street Profits, beat their asses, and we will have a retain by Seth and Buddy, and that will be that, you know. I, I, could, I could even see, you know, uh, them, them, you know, getting a DQ, maybe, you know, getting involved, or maybe when the rest turn but we're definitely not gonna, you know, we're gonna see the AOP get involved and take out the Street Profits. So that is pretty much it for the for the setup, guys. I wanted them to be chilling because I don't think they're gonna have to strain too hard to retain their titles. And it should be it should be a decent little show as far as wrestling. Hopefully that's what we get because you know most of these Saudi shows are like one-off live events and they don't have anything epic happen. Usually just some some superstar performances. You know you get some decent little matches and you know it's just yeah, it's just just a crowd pleaser for the home crowd there, but. That is going to do it for this WWE action figure setup, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favorite part of it is. Also, leave your predictions for Super Saudi Showdown down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Trash Corbin. Oh, help me out of the trash can. I'm a piece of trash. Help me, help me. Shut the hell up, Brad.